Safe pal. Now that's a coin I haven't heard in a while. Uh, I heard about it last three years ago, 2021. So let's take a look at it today. If you guys want more content like this, smash that like button. But we're gonna be looking at SafePal and what exactly it does. Right now, it's been a lot of questions. SafePal is a cryptocurrency wallet launched in 2018, helps users protect and grow their digital assets. SafePal provides hardware and software wallets all paired and managed through SafePal app with their first hardware wallet. Now, the big thing is a lot of people don't know how to store their crypto keys correctly. And I feel like there's a majority of them. SafePal has grown exponentially and has over 3 million users in 200 countries. It's number 54 on rank, but it's pretty low on volume. And that's because I think it got, you know, at the start, a lot of these cryptocurrencies launched. And, uh, you know, it will open a huge market for cryptocurrencies in that sense. I definitely think there will be a huge, huge market for cryptocurrencies, uh, cryptocurrency storage, such as Ledger and Trezor. So what these cryptocurrencies are doing, they're trying to go ahead and go for the way we haven't seen before. So that is basically becoming the main, main mark, taking a big market share of the cryptocurrencies we're seeing today. So spot our futures. What's your trading style? Now they're posting like different things. Uh, they have a very small community and I think the project is okay overall. They're trying to focus on utility in that aspect. They're trying to focus on different things. Uh, if you look at the long term here, here's what I think. I think this token has potential. The issue with this one is this is their safe pal token, right? And why most people, they don't know about safe pal. Like, you're probably hearing this about first time unless you're like really into crypto. You haven't heard of SafePal before. So I think that's the big issue right now is like most people don't even realize what it is. Uh, and that being said, I definitely think there's a ton of potential for SafePal. There's like tons of opportunities to see it grow. The issue is how can it take that market share if it's so small, it can get only a few trades. Craving for wallets, you know, they have good memes. Like I like their memes. Absolutely. Uh, might have even seen this somewhere else. Like they're trying to get, again, a market share that's pretty big and, and really hard to enter in this space. Uh, with crypto wallets, you really don't want to buy a random wallet. I'm not saying safe file is bad, but I'm saying why this token has dropped so much. They have like a big marketing team, big, big everything. Like compared, to, like, um, for example, Trezor and, and Ledger. Ledger has major partnerships, probably has like, the guy that has like those big partnerships should get big bonuses because that guy did a lot, a lot to get like uh, major cryptocurrencies out there. So to me, it's absolutely incredible what it's doing. But again, guys, I am definitely very, very excited to see more of that. Uh, if you guys want to be kept up to date with more content like this, be sure to also smash that like button and I will keep you guys updated with more news. Uh, what do I personally think about this? I think right now, this project, still still plenty of opportunity overall. Still good chances to grow, but it might take a long time. And are you really going to wait that long time? Uh, that's for you to decide, of course. Uh, and if you guys want and crave more content like this, you know what to do. The like button is right there. Again, SafePal does have some features that Treasure doesn't have. Um, the issue with it, it's competing with very, very high cryptocurrencies. So very strong cryptocurrencies in a sense. That's where I think the big problem lies. But that doesn't mean it's over for it. So I will keep you guys more updated uh, if you guys want with awesome content. Because that's definitely what I'm doing on this channel. Uh, and until next time, peace are one. The reason why I think Illuvium could be one of the biggest crypto projects out there is for one simple reason. And that is because they're a big game studio. With a big game studio comes a lot of firepower to create an awesome crypto game. And that's where Illuvium really wins. It's taking this project professionally. And that's why it become one of the biggest crypto games, uh, the biggest crypto studios in the history and i said that the biggest problem with crypto gaming right now is all the games are really bad they're really trash i'm sorry to say it but look at this they're making a team fight tactics type of game okay it's, it's pre-alpha but that's what's really exciting crypto triple a games cost a ton of money like a ton uh and that's where really 
Illuvium wins. They're want to deliver a triple A quality experience. And we know that excellence takes time. And they're going to take their time. They don't care about the price growth. Well, obviously they do care. But they're fighting here slowly, you know. I guess there's going to be NFTs here. Sort of like a Pokemon fight here. Team fight tactic style. A ba auto battler. I hope it's an auto battler. But yeah, I think the main issue with crypto gaming right now is... Most people don't play video games. Uh, most people want to hold a token. I think there's more holders than probably people playing the games. So how can you attract people into crypto gaming? It's very hard. Like 4,000 players, 2,000 monthly active users is almost nothing. From October to December, by the way. Uh, there used to be 500, but it's definitely an improvement. And people are coming back, you know. Like there was almost nobody playing video games. And I think that's the biggest problem with crypto. Like the majority of people, they hate crypto gaming, like outside of the crypto space. They like the projects, they like the games, but when they hear NFTs, they simply run away. And Alluvium, oh, sorry, Alluvium Arena, Overworld, and Zero are these three games they're focusing on and having these battlers. They're focusing on open beta, growing player base, you know, also because users are coming back. Uh, and that's the big thing about it. 2024, like crypto games take time. And Illuvium knows this. It might take two, three years for Illuvium. But if crypto games are, you know, started in 2020, 2021, imagine how many awesome games are going to be in 2024. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. If you guys want more content like this, smash that like button. Peace out, one. What is Ethereum proof of work? Ethereum W. Uh, is it ever going to recover? This was actually given for free to all those holders uh, during like when Ethereum got expanded and this got dumped, seriously dumped. Why? Very good question. So the reason why it got dumped is very simplistic in nature. It got, it was a free drop. It was an airdrop basically after Ethereum proof of stake, this released. Um, and will this ever recover? There's like a big supply of this. There's no development at all. So it's a proof of stake while for remain, remains proof of work. So a lot of people dump this because everybody's going to use a proof of stake, of course, not proof of work. So I think that's the big difference that comes in here, uh, if you ask me. But I do think this token, it's a big thing right now. Like some people are still talking about it. Some people will always use proof of work. So seeking 200k for proof of work operational funds. Look, like right now they don't have enough to have they're actually like a community project so look at this of course multi sig is down to 30 dollars urgent action needed so they basically posted on new year we need two hurricane and we have 30 dollars and guys this is a big big problem overall like uh i was expecting more of that but seems like no uh we're seeing so many problems with that like they have no funding this is not this is a project for material, but it's it's the one from before. And they made a DAO. Some excellent NFT projects have rebirth in their proof of work ecosystem. So there's like some ideas behind this. There's also a Chinese version of Ethereum. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Or if I want to cover that, probably not. Centralization, Ethereum, we has none of those. So they're like, they have like a community, a very, very small community. Uh, why exactly is that? Well, there's no reason to hold this coin. And so all the whales basically sold it. That's the big problem I'm seeing. They decided, okay, I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to sell this. Uh, and that's exactly what they did. They sold all their tokens. And we were seeing so much of that uh, basically sold that people started to realize, okay, maybe that's a, maybe that's a problem. So what they ended up doing is decided to focus on itself. So right now, this project has nothing to do with the new Ethereum. So I just want to get, let you guys know that. If you guys want to be kept up more to date with content like this, be sure to also smash that like button. And I will keep you guys updated with more news because that's what we are doing on this channel. Uh, I definitely think that Ethereum right now, this one is just the community project. As you see, they have no more funding. They need like 200k, uh, so it's highly volatile. A lot of whales have dumped. The liquidity is kind of low-ish. Uh, some people don't even know they have it. So there is a lot of problems with this one. That's why I personally, maybe you won't. I personally am going to be avoiding this one uh, for now. Maybe come back to it later when it's better. 
right now I just don't see why I would stay in it. It's basically like a singing ship, but it's a great concept. I like the concept. I like that the old coin doesn't um, get destroyed. It could be like Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic has seen major, major growth. Like it's seen insane growth, which other cryptos have not seen. So that is a huge potential for, for, for this crypto. Like what if it's like Ethereum Classic? Like I would be definitely excited to see that. But if you guys want more content like this, you know what to do. Smash that like button and I will keep you guys updated uh, with more content like this. Peace, everyone.